All right, everyone, it is Spy Agent 388 here. And World Cup just concluded not even five minutes ago. And we have our winner, Killer Gamer TV2 here. The fourth person to win a World Cup. Killer, how, how does it feel? It was amazing. Like, people were cheering me on. And after I won, they, like, they're saying, like, good stuff and everything. So this is the first World Cup since World Cup number one, where Jake's just dominated that the World Cup hasn't gone to overtime. Do you think that the World Cup not going into overtime and not letting anyone catch up to you was a big portion and a big confidence booster in ensuring your win? Yeah, I would say when Joseph was signed with me and I, I was leading by two, I had, had uh, no choice but to like win so that he doesn't make it to overtime because the last two World Cup, it's been like, um, it, it, it went to overtime a lot by Sweet, so, but, but he's in here, so. And what would you say, would you say, what would you, like, t t just like to structure it, what would you say that you did differently this year than what you did last year? And do you think that the competition or the increased player pool was beneficial in helping your success this World Cup? So what I did differently this year was I played in the middle, like circling the big bomb mm -hmm. and the wait what was the second question uh do you think like more players helped your your case in winning i'll say it, it didn't it did help for for uh more people not going for me but at the sometimes i i got a double so i guess it's like a, a balance so i don't know it's it's tied i don't know is there anyone who surprised you in the World Cup that you didn't expect them to do as well as uh, we did, probably? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Zello and Jake, both of them <laughs> surprised me. Like, I, I did not expect Zello or Jake to get, like, at least two, three wins. Definitely interesting from Zello, because Zello did not qualify last World Cup in the very small player pool where it was limited. What do you think should be done in future events to ensure that the World Cup is more competitive than it is right now? I would say um, I don't I don't really know the answer to the question, but I'll say that if you just keep doing more uh, tournaments and more uh, more new people are gonna like play, and when they start playing, they're gonna get better. So the more the better the players gonna get. For they're sure. Evolving. For sure, and obviously there are people who were trashing you for the past couple weeks, saying that your dog that you're going to get destroyed. Obviously, I think we could assume who you know the types of people saying that what you have to say to the people who doubted you and if you want to call out people call them out why not no it's fine i won't call them out but the people who trash me is that don't don't <laughs> don't say anything if you don't know the the answer to it all right and final question what you have to say to those who aspire to be as good as you Actually, I have one more after this, but like, what you have to, what you say to people who aspire to be like you, to try and be at the if, top. For those who want to be like me, you need to uh, <laughs> practice every day. Not every day, but practice. Like, you gotta make sure you like you're ready to like win at anything, and always, always look on your mistakes that you do. All right, and the final question. Obviously, we know I know you're close to Sweet. Do you think Sweet would be proud of you? And what does this win mean for the Fair Oaks organization? Yeah, Sweet would be really proud of me. He he was actually cheering me on in the Discord, and I saw it, and I got more co confidence out of it. And I'll say for the Fair Oaks organization is it, it's gonna be like really big since Sweet and I are like World Cup champions, and Fair Oaks would be like pretty much the best best team, I guess. For sure. Thank you, Killer, and congratulations on your win. Thank you, thank you.